going on guys? Welcome back. Kellen here again with Droid Life. And you can see what I've got in my hand here. It's a Galaxy Note 8. So everything is basically leaked about this for a couple of months now. So there wasn't much of a surprise today, but it is official now. And it's coming in just a couple of weeks. In fact, you can pre-order it tonight or tomorrow, August 24th, and then it arrives September 15th. Now you've got upgrades over the Galaxy S8. Sorry about all these fingerprints here. Uh, you've got upgrades over the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, though not huge ones. I mean, Samsung did toss in some new stuff. Uh, of course, we've got a dual camera setup now as well with optical zoom and wide angle. Uh, it's got six gig RAM. The battery though is only 3300 milliamp hour, which is a little bit smaller than the S8 Plus, but you've got a six gig, 64 gigabyte starting point for storage. Obviously SD card slot as well. Display slightly bigger, 6.3 inch quad HD Super AMOLED. It is an infinity display, so it does take up the entire front of the device. Of course, this is a Note 8 device, so you've got an S Pen down here on the bottom. You can pop that out. It's got some improved functionality as well. Um, USB type C port on the bottom, and of course, headphone jack. They are keeping that on there. Uh, continue taking this tour though, you've got a power button over here on the right side, familiar slot, exactly where it is on the S8 and S8 Plus. On this left side, you do have your volume rocker, and then of course, you have a Bixby button, because Bixby is back, and it's going to be back for a long, long time. Up top here though, uh, SD card slot and SIM tray up there, so nano SIM and SIM tray. So, oh, I forgot to point out the fingerprint reader here on the back is, it is about in as awkward of a position as you would expect. So if you're holding the phone, reaching that thing, especially being a larger device like this is not the easiest thing, but look, if you use an S8 or an S8 Plus, you know exactly how that works. There's also a heart rate monitor up there as well. So if we dive in though, let's uh, let's just look at some of the software. So the Galaxy Note 8 obviously running Samsung's newest version of their, well, we call it TouchWiz, but I think it has a more official name than that now. This phone is running 7.1.1, so an upgrade again over the uh, Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Uh, it is not running uh, Oreo yet. Obviously, that was just announced a couple of days ago, so it's not there yet. It will get an upgrade, though. So uh, if we just dive down in here, you can see in the software, Galaxy S8, 7.1.1, and is Samsung Experience 8.5, and this is also running August security patch. So you're, you're fairly up to date there. Uh, in terms of the UI, though, this is going to look really familiar to anybody who's used an S8 or an S8 Plus. You've got your bundled groups of things, but you're going to find some additional features, of course, because you have an S Pen, so you're going to want to manage all of your features for your S Pen in there, like your your air view, shortcuts, and air command, all that stuff. So none of that's necessarily new. Um, in fact, most of the UI isn't that new at all. Even the stock launcher you would access with a swipe and a swipe. Um, you swipe over and here's your Bixby panel, which you still can't turn off as far as I know. Um, you know, this is set up, even the wallpaper, just like the Galaxy S8 was. Here's your notification panel. Again, doesn't look any different. You can customize all these shortcuts, play with the, play with the brightness slider there. There's a blue light filter and your mobile hotspot and your airplane mode your flashlight, all that stuff's there. Um, of course, all of this, again, can be customized. So what's different then? Well, it, it's a Note, so it has that S Pen. So if we pop the S Pen out, take a look here at the S Pen. So S Pen has been upgraded on some level. So it fits nicely in hand. The button position, I feel like, is much better than it has been. You obviously have that clicky uh, top for those of us with a little bit of OCD during the day. Um, and so if you launch that, you can, you'll have your little hovering shortcut here and you can actually click the button when you're close to the screen and that'll pop that up whenever, no matter what you're doing, in case you can't find that. You can, uh, you can move this around to either side to get it out of the way. Um, you can tap on this and you'll see all of your similar shortcuts for notes and smart select and writing on the screen. Um, they do have this feature called live messages though, which is kind of fun I've been playing with. So you choose essentially a background. So like here is a picture of my camera and you straighten out the uh, picture to be however you want. Click done, and then you can choose some uh, different brush sizes, brush colors, um, and depending on some other things. And then you just kind of start drawing, and it records everything that you are drawing. And then when you're done, you just click done, and it processes that. And it essentially makes an animated GIF that you can then share with other Samsung users. You can email it as well, and it does just email as a GIF. So kind of cool, and then it replays it for whoever you sent it to. Just one of those fun little tricks they're doing. Um, with the S Pen. So you can obviously customize all of this stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff, again, isn't super new, but it has been upgraded. And again, you can choose app shortcuts and customize all of this stuff. So um, that is the new S Pen. Outside of that, you do have, uh, because this is an infinity display with an edge, you do have your, your Samsung Edge panel there and you can customize all this stuff. You do have that pressure sensitive home button as well. So you can press on that. It'll get you home if it's not being shown. You can also use it from the lock screen to unlock your device, which you put on the S8. So again, 
Not a ton of new stuff, but it is slightly bumped up in terms of specs with that six gig RAM, with the S Pen, with that dual camera. Um, overall though, it's just sort of a, a, a newish version of an S8 in a way. I will say one thing though, this is me nitpicking, but usually Samsung's app switcher is really, really bad in terms of switching, but you can actually switch. Okay, I take that back. I thought you could, but you can't. Um, if we take a look at the camera though, and fire this thing up, you can fire it up with a double click on the power button and it walks you right through that. Um, Obviously, it's super quick to load, super quick to fire off. You can zoom in uh, with a 1x or 2x button, um, and that gets you using that dual camera with the zoom. Um, if you're far away, you've obviously got that wide-angle lens for close-up. So you can use this slider on the right to zoom in and out of photos, or zoom in and out of frame to get photos framed just properly if you just want to zoom on something. Um, you've got stickers and a new live focus feature. Flip to your selfie mode. So it's a fully featured um, Samsung camera. It's just their take on a dual pixel or a dual camera shooter. It seems pretty good so far. I mean, we wouldn't expect anything less from Samsung. They do make some of the best cameras. So anyways, just a brief overview of the Galaxy Note 8. Obviously, we'll have one in-house shortly for review, and we will dive into all of it. Man, bring your cleaning cloth if you get this orchid gray version. Speaking of colors, it does come in orchid gray, gold, black, or there's a deep sea blue or deep blue color, something like that. So either way, it's just been a quick look at the Galaxy Note 8. Much, much more coming. Kelvin Torthic, peace.